Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk a little bit about Akasha, the 4 star version offer actually. And I um, just want to talk a little bit about how good is she, um, what is the way in which you can use her, which are maybe the logistics that you want to go for, the stacks that you want to prioritize, and is she good or is she not, right? Um, Akasha is actually a pretty interesting character. She used a pistol, so her damage is actually pretty average when it comes to like firing the bullets. But he, ha she has an ability that is pretty interesting, which is uh, called Spokes of the Will. And this particular ability allows you to uh, throw a dagger that then is going to be bouncing between the enemies, and it leaves a mark in the enemies that allows you to deal more damage when you shoot the enemies with the mark. So <clears throat> it is it's pretty 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 good. Um, it is a very very low cooldown of only 4 seconds and a very low energy cost of only 4 seconds as well. Akasha deals uh, chaos damage. Um, so the weapon that you want to use on her is actually um, Nexus. Nexus is, an, is a weapon that would allow you to deal more damage with your standard skill, which is the basic skill, uh, not the uh, ultimate or the support skill, right? standard skill would deal more damage, 6% more for every second that you remain in the battlefield. And it is stacks 6 times. So it is actually really, really, really good uh, when it comes to like using a 4 star Akasha as a DPS, I guess. Um, to be honest guys, like you have two options for this character, you can either try to see if you enjoy her playstyle, if you want to play her as a DPS, um, you can do so as you can see here. Like when you use the ultimate, um, if you have the Cred Neuronics activated, then you can um, use your uh, skill like without cooldown as many times as you can with the total amount of energy that you have. So that's where like most of her damage is going to be coming from. And um, to my understanding, she's actually way better if you're thinking of her as a support instead of thinking of her as um, like a pure DPS to stay in the battlefield all the time. Um, when it comes to Neuronics, like let's talk about that a little bit. I was talking before about Spokes of the Will and um, you have the Neural skills here and I actually didn't went for any of those because I just don't think that going for a cooldown reduction is any good. Uh, the cooldown, the, the, the cooldown is already very, very low, so there is no reason to, for you to go lower than that. Uh, at least not now, or sacrificing the other ones uh, that are way better, right? Same for the other one that actually requires you to do crowd control for it to be applied, right? Having the regeneration of uh, energy is really, really good, but um, needing to rely on crowd control is not that good. While, um, if we see, for example, a out of the flow, which is the support skill, it actually allows you to deal more damage, for example, and it slows the enemy in the area. Um, the slow is particularly really good if you are playing a sniper unit, because then this slow would allow you to aim and um, hit the enemies in their weak spot easier. Um, the slow is good enough and lasts for a good amount of time so that you are able to do at least one or two shots uh, to the weak spots of the enemy and uh, the slow affects either bosses or uh, normal enemies as well. So that's something that is actually really good because uh, being able to slow bosses is definitely something that would uh, allow you to deal more damage and it would make the bosses easier. When it comes to the ultimate, Moonlit Sky. Um, I definitely went for buff of the uh, neural skills here, which are uh, the one that would allow you to use uh, throw your daggers uh, without cooldown, right, and use all of your energies for it. And the other one is uh, one of the best ones because it would allow you to increase the attack of all of your priorities by 10% while you are within the range of the Nightmare Sun. And the Nightmare Sun is basically uh, the ultimate ability, right? This area that she creates in which all the enemies are um, slowed down. Um, so it's pretty good. I mean, it's a 10 seconds uh, buff of um, attack. And 
we actually can see her here with um, like the level 80 testing that we actually are able to do it allow us to see her how much damage she can do with like uh, in this case is she's using a five star weapon and this is like all of the um neuronics all of the manifestations everything is unlocked here so we can see more or less the damage that she's able to do so if you want to see more of her i recommend you to go here if this is the life activities that we can do every day uh where you can just farm the shards to uh increase the manifestations of the characters so that's my recommendation you want to see how good is she um sadly we don't face a boss inside this little test it would be great if we were be able to do that but we are still are able to you know see at least a little bit of the damage that she's able to do uh, when it comes to manifestations um basically all of them are focused entirely on dealing more damage like the duration of the mark or being able to do more marks or that the um, daggers are going to be bouncing to more enemies it's good but it's just not like something that you should be worrying about uh in my case i have the first um manifestation which is the one that allows me to actually put the mark on the enemy and then you know i'm able to uh attack this target and then deal a little bit more of damage uh to the enemy that is marked Um, when it comes to like using Akasha as a support, because I think she's definitely going to be way better as a like offensive support. You can use her her ultimate to increase the attack, and also it is going to be really really good for a sniper unit because you are going to be having 10 seconds of all enemies low down, and yeah, that's going to be allowing you to attack more frequently to the weak spots of the enemy with a sniper rifle. Um, if you want to go the full support way, I would actually go with the energy recharge. Um, what is this called? The energy recharge logistics, which is the Shinja squad that allows you to have more energy in general for the entire squad. And it increases also the gener energy regeneration of all of the uh, characters in your squad. So this is really good. I mean, if you're going for full support, if you want to deal damage, then you can go with the Tevez squad that actually increases your skill damage and your attack every time that you deal damage with your active or your um, standard skill or any other of the skills as well, right? So, uh, in before I lose my train of thought, right? Uh, when it comes to using her as a support, then you may consider using the Prismatic Igniter. This prismatic ignited would actually give you um, an increase of attack whenever you use the support skill. Support skill for uh, Makasha Four Star is actually pretty long, so you may not take a lot of advantage of this. But it is better to have this little increase in attack than any other, any, any or something else, right? Or you may just go with the increase on her standard skill damage, and that's it, right? It all depends on you, but um, she's definitely, definitely a decent character that we can uh, try. I, I'm going to be creating a guide for um, Marian, uh, Queen of Pain, and Akasha is going to be one of the, the the supports for her. Like I think that they support each other because Akasha is able to deal a lot of damage with her abilities and then slow down enemies while um marian queen of, queen of pain actually reduces the uh cows resistance of the enemies when you hit them with the support skill if they don't have any um shields on them so both of the characters are definitely really good i'm going to be showing you guys later um how it goes how good is it so that we can then um you know just generally know or learn more about these specific characters. I just hope that you guys have enjoyed this video and that it has been informative. Um, thank you so much for being here and have a wonderful rest of your day, guys. Peace.